I'm out of the Five Nights at Freddy's kick. It's back to the original stuff. Oh, it's a Vard 4. Oh, yeah, Peter. Oh, it's a Vard 4! So, with that said, we are actually playing the new DLC. And, um. It's a peace Stalin simulator, really. I uh, was playing it originally for a video. And, uh, got messed up. And here we are. I'm gonna play it again. And I was doing it in heart. And, uh,. I remember it before, and um, it's going pretty well, I guess, and I re guess we're doing it again. Only difference is this time, historical AI will be off. Now, it's always crucial that in this game you select generals that uh, you forget who dies and who doesn't in the uh, epic manga of the Soviet Union. Right, so here are the Yu-Gi-Oh cards I have chosen. These guys, so I'm sure 90% of them die along with these guys too. Other really cool thing is all of the railroads. Um, they, you can you get to play with the little railroads and stuff and, you know, Trotsky's little train and all that. But one of the other interesting things that I saw was uh, they updated the states for the Baltics and they added Danzig. That's uh, quite nice. There's also other things like... Um, they have Zylesia in the game now, and they also have uh, Kashubi in the game. It's all cool stuff, I guess. They also have this. I guess the game's more... Uh, it's got new stuff. That's it, really. Oh, another thing is, is that uh, when you pick a tree, it removes the other tree and, like, hides it. Which I guess makes it good for something condensed like this. Because uh, this is a massive tree, and it makes sense, really. Holy crap, Stalin's got paranoia. He just like me. Up first on this week's terror list. I don't, I don't know whose picture that is, but we're probably going to kill him. Oh, wait. I, turns out I'm an idiot. It's just Zinoviev. Whoa, they're trying to get rid of my guy, Zhukov. Uh-uh. Oh, that kind of just ruined the paranoia. Man, I shouldn't have kept him. Right, so maybe I got a feeling that once we get to the block of rights and Trotskyites, it, uh... It'll probably clear up the whole problem of Stalin's political paranoia. I think Hirohito has a thumb up his ass because he, uh, he went down a line. What the hell? Time to start planning on how we're gonna kill Trotsky. I still question how they got an ice pick into Mexico. And I do understand that it's pre-9-11 times, meaning they uh, didn't check bags and stuff. Imagine, imagine it like this. You're a Mexican politician, right? And, uh... You land in Mexico City. Actually, that's kind of mountainous over here. Oh. Uh. How do I send that? They're my puppet, apparently. Can I join their war? Can I? I can't really do anything with that, actually. Uh. Maybe Red Lithuania can pull out or something. Or pull. Okay. Maybe they'll be able to. Be able to do this. Okay, they're surprisingly doing really well. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this one. This is a weird site. I, um, let's see, how, let's see how this one goes. This one might be interesting. I can send them volunteers, and I'm going to take a couple of, uh, Zukovs here. This could very well be the only action we see in this entire playthrough. Honestly, I'm not sure how this is gonna go. I kinda think, uh, these guys are gonna do it. Oh my god, it shows you what they're doing, wow. See if we can do a little push here, that'd be really cool. It's just tanks versus cavalry. I sure hope that the funny Polish cavalry doesn't stick lancers down my fucking tank barrel. I'm kinda thinking, maybe if I can break through right here, I can get a tank to go around and just ride his way into Warsaw. Couldn't imagine being one of Stalin's guys and being told for like the fourth time this week you have to kill another. Got a tank through and I could just push right into Warsaw maybe if I can circle these guys. That'd be cool. Oh, never mind. Kind of curious if I can get these tanks into Warsaw. Kind of like weird invading your own country. I, I, I don't know if you guys have ever done that. I was hoping we wouldn't lose Dukachevsky because he was like the only guy who was good for that job, but Ah, uh, how did they still lose the Sudet? I'm not even gonna question it really. Well, at least Poland's- I think what's just really weird is that it's green. I don't like it being green. Hopefully, hopefully it goes back to being pink. It appears they've got Wilhelm back on the crown. That's quite nice. Hey, uh, we did it. We killed the snake. Oh my god. Now the choo-choo train. You guys can't hear it, but it's got the choo-choo train sounds. That's so cool. Ah, Austria Hungary is kind of funny looking. I see they're avoiding what everyone else would avoid, investing into Eastern Poland. 
I would do that too when you have something like Belarus and Ukraine. Well, it killed my field marshal. It's like the only good field marshal I, I had. Um, I don't really, I don't have anyone to really promote now. Okay, so as it turns out, we didn't kill the snake. We have to use this guy to kill the snake. Uh, I don't know why his name is Perseus, but it's whatever. Use him, you uh, get 25% thing, and then you, you just kill Trotsky. They still didn't question why he had a nice pick in Mexico. Sure as Greece has decided to go to war with Turkey and Romania. Hey, look at that. Political paranoia just doesn't exist. Holy crap, Willem Dafoe is winning the Spanish Civil War. And guess what, wait. Oh my god. Why is... He's got a funny mustache. Is he trying to copy? <laughs> he looks like a man that compared to Stalin's mustache. <laughs> the more I look at her, the more I realize she's a very, like, beefy woman. Like, she'd be the type of woman you would ask her, like, are you independent? And then she just starts beating the shit out of you. Of course, Santa Claus here. It's around Christmas time. Uh... Game is literally having nothing fun happen. Oh, the beast, not the beast, but the uh, the funny, the snake. <laughs> Gonna get rid of him soon, along with our uh, pickaxe. Oh, that's interesting. Bulgaria and Romania just they had intercourse to get. Oh, please, Japan. Oh, ha, ha. oh no! How did that? <laughs> How did that happen? Oh no! I can't. I can't believe that that happened. That's just... I don't know how that happened. Ooh, pickaxe? Oh, <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I think so far my favorite thing about this DLC is that Naval Doctrine, you just click on it, instant research. Alright, the first thing of the war, it's time to kill Italy. Oh, France. Yeah. Actually, France? That's big help. Just hope that doesn't mean I'm fighting the Romanians just yet, because I do have other plans for them. My Navy is very fresh. As you can see, none of them are uh, trained at all, and um, yeah, kind of, kind of sucks, really. The war is still at a stalemate, and if anything, I'm kind of the one losing here, mostly. Um, Turkey is still getting the shit kicked out of them, and uh, Yugoslavia is I am, uh, especially down here. But I do have troops all over, kinda all over, and uh, we pushed two cities. Two provinces? Whatever. We pushed in. Turkey capitulated, France got all of that, Greece got all of this, and I got all of this, and I puppeted Turkey. That man's kind of funny looking. Austria-Hungary joined the Europe Alliance. I still got a non-aggression pact with Germany, should be fine. Okay, it's not fine. It's not fine at all, that's not good. Still in a very sticky situation here. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna pull out of this one. As it turns out, the British saved the day. <laughs> Thank you, Germany, for being uh, incompetent. Also, Budapest just kinda gone. It could take it with a tank division from 1936. I haven't even touched the tank template thing. So that's how much I'm really paying attention to the new stuff in the game. Kinda just pulled an 800 IQ play. They aren't focusing on the south. I don't know where any of Austria-Hungary's troops are. I kind of am just coming in through the south and could probably get to Berlin real fast and call it a day. So I think Austria-Hungary capped out. Um, yeah, they did. They, they did, they lost nothing. Maybe they lost their entire army, but uh, uh yeah, as it turns out, you know, they kind of all suck. And uh, we're pushing up to Berlin. It's, it's literally right there. All I have to do is just move Zukov up there and yeah. Oh my god, Yugoslavia. As it turns out, there's one more contender as there always is. Oh, Germany got some colonial things. That's not a core. Okay, it's not a core. Thank you, god. I wasn't really paying attention, but uh, it's my cavalry that's going into Poland to liberate Warsaw. Russian cavalry? Oh, uh, it was Poland to liberate Poland, never mind. That was painful. I have the most war score. I'm not even, I'm kind of surprised by that. I don't even know how to carve any of this out, so I'm just going to go off of what I, I, I don't really know, actually. Right, so I apparently can't release these guys before doing a certain focus, but uh, essentially this is what Europe looks like. I was able to puppet Romania and um, Bulgaria, however... Italy is still my problem, and uh, I have to do some focus to get this. And uh, I'll show you guys once the uh, once it's over. It'll probably be pure hell. 
I couldn't imagine getting orders from Stalin being like, okay, take every division from Northern Europe, throw it all down at Southern Europe. Seems like we're getting a bit of a dent in Italy, but I don't know how long this will last. I mean, everyone's kind of going on Italy. The only thing is, is uh, whatever the hell is going on over here, I don't know how it's gonna go. This lone French soldier. Ah. Uh, uh, well, Africa's gone. My light tank divisions are so fast, they, they just zip through. They've just zipped through, and I've already taken rum. Alright, pack it up, go home, guys. Finally, we did it. We finally did it. I forgot to include my little Latvian incursion, however, I'm also going to be start taking out the Baltics, Finland, Kind of got this, and uh, I'm gonna get this going on a little bit further more. Okay, so right now, what I'm trying to do is I'm actually trying to like subjugate Lithuanians through Lendley's stuff, which hopefully when I go to war with Estonia will be quicker. Cause uh, yeah, okay. So my troops weren't over here fast enough, and uh, I'm starting to get my ass a little bit kicked, and it's, I'm very worried about over here. It's very, very worried about over here. Right, so once again, I'm losing over here in the east. That's, uh, not a good thing. I'm taking the time while I'm over here in China to, uh, get rid of Estonia real quick. Just as fast as I can, so that way I don't have to do more while I'm over there. I messed up, I messed up the invasion a little bit because I didn't have enough guys. And, uh, well, yeah, now it's going alright. Now, I'm not sure what that new oh. Uh. That sucks. My main, like, weak spot is over here, but my main concern, like, where I want my whole front to be, I'm over here. Because I know that if I get these guys out, I can pull back and go around here, which, uh, I don't mind. Japan is at war with everyone, so, yeah. We control the Baltics. So now, next is, uh, to get rid of this green Poland that looks like vomit. We're still little by little taking parts of Japan here and there, or China here and there, and, uh, Honestly, it really is very, very messy, this map. The U.S. has landed in mainland Japan is right next to Tokyo. The uh, only thing is, is that um, I'm still at a stalemate up here, and they're about to take Nanjing, which uh, maybe will bring an end to all this hell. But uh, after that, I know that we have to face Finland, and uh, yeah. So I'm just going to keep trying to push and get through, and maybe we will. Peace deal is finally here, and... Uh, well, I'm gonna see what I can get out of it, and I really don't actually want anything out of it. So now I've joined the war against Finland, and uh, hopefully this goes well. I don't know if it will. I'm very sure it will, though. So all I've got left is to get through some of Shangji that's in the middle of uh, China, and uh, I don't know whatever is going on there, and then Finland. Okay, so f Greece is, um, Greece. What? What the? What the fuck is this? Right. So we almost have our perfect run, except the only thing is, is uh, I want to fix some things that are left over in China that, you know, shouldn't exactly be there. Right. So we have our final war going on, where uh, it's China versus the rest of the China. It's gonna completely unify China. The game will be over. We'll have our perfect red world because uh, I don't know actually how the hell this happened. Every every country is red, and. Uh, yeah, the few democracies that exist, um, I, I don't know, but I just know everything's gonna be even more red. Okay, so as it turns out, U.S. declared war on fans, and I gotta fix that problem, and I may not record most of it, because, uh, I don't want the video being too, too long, but after I fix China, I'm gonna go after the U.S. and, uh, fix the U.S. So, uh, defeated the U.S., and I just puppeted everything, um... Only thing is, is that uh, Britain declared war on me to get to Germany, and I said no. I'm uh, done with the game now, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Right, so I was told that the Discord link that was originally in all of my videos for the past uh, year or two, maybe, however long it's been, was invalid. It was the wrong link, and um, yeah, now the right link is there, and feel free to join. Definitely join. In fact, if you join, you will immediately be allowed to bully Evan. That's right, Evan. Fuck you, Evan.